He was called Prince Farming after his appearance on The Bachelor in 2015. Today, Chris Souls is breaking his silence two years after his involvement in a deadly accident. I was driving down a rural road, a country road, to, in the dark, and, and uh, the next thing I know, I'm basically coming to. All I remember is waking up and just saying, I need help. Soul's truck rear-ended a tractor driven by his neighbor, 66-year-old Kenny Mosher. Souls can be heard making the 911 call. I rear-ended a, a guy on a tractor. Is anybody injured? Yes. Who's injured? Uh, the man on the tractor. After paramedics got there, Souls left the scene before police arrived. He tried to explain his actions today to GMA's Michael Strahan. When I left, I called my parents. You know, they're both in consensus just said call an attorney. Because for a lot of people, when, when something like this happens and, and you leave the scene and, and there's a fatality and then you call an attorney before you talk to someone, they'll look at it and go, well, there must be something he's hiding. No, I had nothing to hide. It was speculated that Souls may have been drunk driving and was trying to sober up. Were you drinking that night? No, I was not drinking that night. There were four witnesses that swore under oath that they they saw no evidence of me appearing to be intoxicated. In May, Souls was sentenced to two years probation after pleading guilty to leaving the scene of an accident. My sentence is living with this for the rest of my life.